we carry on with another set with wonderful Nicole Rochelle singing for us. And uh, this time we choose tunes that were recorded with mostly the band of John Kirby, sometimes under the name of Bill uh, Buster Bailey, not Bill Bailey, Buster Bailey's, uh, Buster Bailey's name, from, all from 1940, and there's one older one which I will announce. The first one I promised to one of you, because we couldn't play it last year, it is M. I Blue.
Uh, another singer was Judy Allington, who sang with a band in 1940, called... Uh, what is it? Seems... Okay. Seems like a month okay. of Sundays. Like today. <laughs> by Maxine Sullivan from her first collaboration with uh, <coughs> with uh, another band before the John Cobb Kirby band and uh, this is uh, this was a real hit in 1938 for Maxine and her singing it's a wonderful story about a little girl <coughs> dreaming to become a princess if I had a ribbon bow
Sullivan for this wonderful song. Let me dream a little while. And thank you all those guys on the stage to play this difficult music sometimes, harmonically, uh, very modern in a way. And we have at the trumpet Malo Madhubi. <clears throat> we will thank Dato on the clarinet part. Richard Pite at the brushes. Bobby Lemaire, bass. <laughs> and the wonderful David Boddinghouse at the piano. <laughs> of course, my name is Klaus Jakob. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we go on with... <coughs> it ain't like that, yeah. right? Do you want to play that? This is a composition of Yuna May Carlyle who was playing in Paris at that time, the end of uh, the 30s, and uh, she was so popular that the Prince of Wales every weekend <laughs> sailed across the channel to see her. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> what I was to tell. Maybe it's oh, John Yu King, is it? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, he turned out king later, I think so. Um, so this one is called, uh, it's a composition of Yuna May Carlyle, who also who also was a wonderful pianist. And uh, she, you can, uh, you, can <laughs> you can see a, a little film uh, on YouTube play, seeing her playing and singing at the same time. With this song, which she composed, It Ain't Like That, from 1941. <coughs> One, two. There's a crazy expression in Chicago now It's a funny thing but it's caught on somehow No, it ain't like that What you said, it ain't like that What you said, I said Yes, I sit there No, if you can Watch your step, save your rent Hearing is 
just to see if you know what it like that. ABC, you got a long man. It ain't like that, I said. Ain't like that. What you bet? Take that man.
a lot. Now the next is for our uh, friends who speak and understand French. Who is it? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> we call about uh, in, which, in, which key, uh, in which language, uh, which key is clear, but in which language uh, Nicole would sing. And she decided to sing in French, but because it's a French song in a way. You all know April in Paris, the best oh. time of the year. And she will sing it in French, if you don't mind. Maybe we'll play it again and then she, she sings in English. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Uh, I was enjoying this set very much. And of course, it's nothing without Nicole Broche. <laughs> Maybe I should say that David and I also played a show for four years, quite some time ago, where the main character was Josephine Baker. So this is also homage for Josephine Baker, Avril la Paris, the version that she sang. Thank you very much, and uh, see you a little bit later. Again, another set with Nicole singing the very hot uh, blues parts in Charlie Johnson's song. We're looking forward. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Je t'aime, fleur.